the right to the end. Well, I was just going to let it know. I know you probably got an agenda and we'd be very pleased to hear what it is, but it is a particular pleasure to welcome you here to the White House. I commend you for what you have done and the progress that you've made in bringing democracy to your country and free enterprise to your economy. Pleased that our respective travel investment missions have been put up. But I'm sure you must have an agenda, so. Yes, I'm here. figures there he came back and he said well uh, things weren't really all that bad for you he said I see you had 29 inches of rain last year and the farmer says yes I remember the night it happened <laughs> <laughs> Et puis il lui dit, mais les choses vont pas aussi mal que vous dites. Je vois que vous avez eu à peu près euh, plus de 30, environ, euh, disons, 30 ou 30 cm de, de pluie l'année dernière. Et la euh, pluie est tombée, je me souviens très bien du soir où tout ça est tombé en une fois. <rire> I 
no world. It's been a pleasure to have as our guest President Bia of Cameroon. President Bia's visit is a milestone in the excellent relationship between our two countries. Our discussions were warm and frank, reflecting the goodwill between us and our countries as well. And I'm pleased to take this opportunity to announce that yesterday a bilateral investment treaty was signed by our governments. President B. and I are convinced this treaty will spur economic growth and greatly benefit our peoples. Cameroon, like the United States, is blessed with rich natural resources, a vibrant private sector, and a diverse industrious population. But resources alone do not guarantee progress, either in economic or political terms. It takes sound, dedicated leadership. President B.I. exemplifies this with his energetic commitment to national unity, reconciliation, and the liberalization of his country's political institutions. Today, it's becoming ever more clear to the emerging nations in Africa that Marxist and rigid status models of development simply don't work. Instead of economic development, political freedom and national stability, Marxism, an ideology totally alien to African aspirations has produced nothing but deprivation, tyranny, and conflict. Cameroon is a shining example of how much can be accomplished when a more realistic and humane approach is taken to political and economic development. By allowing free reign of the enterprise and talents of the people, and by providing incentives for them to work and earn, last year's Last year, Cameroon's economy grew at an annual rate of over 6%. Its per capita income is among the highest in black Africa. President Bia's government enjoys a balanced budget, and his country, thanks to the growing vigor of the private sector, is essentially self-sufficient in food. In short, President Bia's wise policies have been a boon to his people. The president is a highly respected leader in Africa, and today, I sought his advice on a wide range of issues. We discussed our mutual concern about international terrorism and about aggression directed against some sub-Saharan states, especially Chad. We agreed on the importance of working together and with other friends countering these dangers. The United States and Cameroon have for several decades enjoyed a high level of cooperation. Today, we have reaffirmed our intention to continue reinforcing our positive and constructive relationship. All Americans wish President be our continued success in his efforts to build a prosperous and democratic Cameroon. And we wish him Godspeed on his journey home. Président Reagan et moi-même sortons d'un entretien empreint de cordialité et de compréhension mutuelle. Nous avons examiné la situation économique et politique du Cameroun. Monsieur Reagan est conscient des progrès que nous avons accomplis. Notre politique intérieure, fondée sur le libéralisme et la démocratie, favorise l'initiative personnelle et la création de nouvelles entreprises. Notre taux de croissance a considérablement augmenté. Nos frontières sont ouvertes aux investisseurs étrangers et nous entretenons des relations privilégiées avec les pays occidentaux. Ce qui me semble ressortir le plus de cet entretien, est une nette convergence de vues entre nos deux pays. Comme vous, nous sommes particulièrement attachés à des idéaux de paix, de liberté, de démocratie, de progrès et de valeur morale, de justice sociale. President Reagan et moi avons juste eu un rencontre marquée par la cordialité et la mutual understanding 
We have looked at the economic and political situation of Cameroon. <laughs> President Reagan is very much aware of the progress we have made. Our domestic policies are based on free market economy and democracy. It promotes personal initiative and the creation of new businesses. Our growth, our growth rate has increased considerably. We have opened our borders to foreign investors and we have excellent relations with the Western nations. The uh, most uh, important uh, conclusion of our meeting is that there is a strong conversion of views between our two countries because like you, we hold particularly dear ideals of peace, liberty, democracy, progress and moral values as well as social justice. Comme vous, nous condamnons la politique d'apartheid et le non-respect de la liberté du peuple namibien. Je souhaite sincèrement qu'une fois de plus, l'influence de votre nation soit le moyen de résoudre ces problèmes qui menacent la dignité de l'homme. Comme vous, nous condamnons la violence et le terrorisme qui sévissent dans le monde. Nous avons opté pour le dialogue dans la paix et l'équilibre. D'ailleurs, nous avons renforcé nos liens avec les autres pays africains dans le but de progresser ensemble. Comme je l'ai dit, nos idées convergent sur de nombreux plans et ma présence ici témoigne du désir de renforcer les liens unissant nos deux nations, de renforcer la coopération bilatérale. Déjà une centaine de firmes américaines nous ont fait confiance et sont implantées au Cameroun. Like you, we too condemn apartheid and non-respect of the freedom of the Namibian people. I sincerely hope that once again the influence of, of your nation will help resolve these problems which are a threat to human dignity. Like you, we condemn violence and terrorism uh, throughout the world. We have opted in favor of a dialogue in peace and the balance. And we have strengthened our links to other African countries so that together we can make progress. As I said, our ideas converge on many levels, and my presence here attests that we want to strengthen the ties between our two countries, and we want to strengthen bilateral cooperation. And we already have about 100 American firms established in our country. Our nation is bilingual, English and French, and is therefore fertile ground for American investors. Our two governments have signed an agreement on the reciprocal protection of investments, which will certainly encourage them. Assistance from the American government has been of great help to us, particularly in the fields of agriculture, education and health. We do appreciate the contribution of the United States to our social life and hope that the number of cultural exchange programs will increase. Since our foreign policy is based on international cooperation, we count very much on the United States. Our relations are characterized by mutual friendship. I hope that the United States will help defend our ideals of peace and freedom which are often threatened in Africa. Your nation and president have our total confidence. We congratulate President Reagan on his meeting in Geneva with Mr. Gorbachev. Thank you for your attention.